Well guys, I'm at the trailer here. No one's answering the door, but joke's on them. I can still fix their air conditioner because it's a package in it. So even though when it seems like people are trying to make it so you can't fix their stuff, joke's on them. I'm going to fix it anyway. We have our capacitor here, which might be bad. We'll depress our contactor. We had power to the unit. We got nothing coming over there. So let's check and see if the capacitor's bad. We have our lead set up on the capacitor for the hermetic side. Bad, bad, bad. Let's go get a new one. We're gonna hook up the zebra stand and run things for a minute. Put the Z manifold on it because there's no point to do the I manifold stuff. I have to take the unit apart, so we're not gonna do that. We're just going to make sure we have pressure in a normal operating range. The manifold is all set up just to make sure we look halfway decent on the pressures. I'm putting both gauges on there. So I want to make sure I see what the high and low side pressures are just in case there's a dirty coil I need to tell them about. I can go ahead and know now instead of having to wait. The stat is hooked up. I have my power 24 volts either side of the transformer red and blue. I have my orange on the defrost board, energizer reversing valve. I'm using a purple wire because my orange one has a bad alligator clip on it. I got to replace the green is going directly to the fan control board, and the Y is going directly to the low voltage side of the contactor. So we're going to start things up here in a second. Let's hit the button. And we'll start up our we going to activate. We have no power. Fantastic. So now we have power back. We had one dead breaker, home line breaker, and basically those are the cheapest ones in the store anyway. I replaced the breaker. There had been a live wasp nest in there, and it had gotten into behind the breaker, so it might have caused it to fail might not just be that it's just the cheapest one in the store so we're gonna flip things on here we will start with the fan I have it connected over here to the control board that did not work like I planned our fan motor you see we have some flooding in here looks like probably from a stopped up drain as you see it looks pretty rough down there so we'll have to cut that off and drain it out. Fan spins pretty freely, so we'll check the capacitor, and that's probably our problem. As you see, we have our capacitor. It has oil all over it. Looks like it might be dead. 10 microfarad. We're going to check it out. Either way, we would replace this one because it just looks... You can tell some of the oil has leaked around the rim. It's gotten on the back of it, so let's check it out. Replace. We have a new 10 microfarad capacitor up there. The other one registered a 7 microfarad, so it wasn't that far off, but it was definitely hurting. So we're going to turn this thing back on again and see if we can get power to this fan and have it actually run like a fan ship. Well guys, our fan didn't take off even with our new capacitor. And what I did is I removed the fan wire, as you see from the old, if you can see down here, there's a lower control board. I removed it off of the relay, put it directly onto the contactor to see if it would take off, and it did. So I'm going to check and make sure this relay is sending power through it. If not, I think I have this board on the truck. I'll have to go see. Either way, we can get it running in the meantime. Our ICM 277C, it's an ICM replacement for this blower board. And when I get it out, I'll show you when I get back to the truck after I'm done what failed on the board or what wasn't happening. We're going to go ahead and switch it now. Guys, we are back in business. I have the ICM board mounted. Put our extra fuse down there just in case we needed it one day. We have our wasp floating around there. We're going to propel him into the house with some veracity here in a second. I'm going to put things back together. We'll start it up and make sure everything else is running. Got some issues losing the insulation, so I put a couple of these. Cut a couple of squares of metal, put some screws through the door into the metal so it would hold it in place, a lot like a stick pin would, so we don't have the blower sucking in insulation as I drive down the road. Leaving. Our components are back up and running. I'm going to give it a few minutes just to make sure the pressures look normal. 
Take a look at our drain here. <laughs> Not much room left in there for water. Wow, that's amazing. Guys, I have all my repairs written down. We change out a dual run cap, the single run cap for the blower, the 30 amp home line breaker and the panel, the blower control board, and we repiped and cleared the drain as well. Our pressures look pretty good. They're 225 over 75, 80, so that's uh, definitely in the acceptable range for today. But change a lot of parts today on this thing. Nothing stops a Goodman. Although this one doesn't make its, you know, the Goodman sound. So it's a lot quieter than some of the older ones. But it's still shitting parts left and right. I'll see you guys on the next one. Right, this is our blower relay, you see here low voltage wiring all the way across here is our fuse right here this is all low voltage common 24 volt hot the the G terminal here kind of fell off when I took it off so there would be one right there for the 24 volt input for fan these two are park terminals meaning they you just put the other speeds that you're not using on those terminals they don't go anywhere right here is our common for our relay that's where our speed will go going to the blower. You just pick what speed you want, plug it here, then plug the other two over here, or other one, depending on which kind of blower you're using. And these are used to control PSC blowers, I should say that. There's two terminals here. One is normally open, one is normally closed. The normally closed goes to the heat strip sequencer. So when it powers up, it'll send power here, and then send power on to the blower. The normally open, it's just your wire running back to the contactor that'll feed power to it all the time. So when it energizes, it'll shoot power across there and turn the fan on. There is a delay. I think it's like one second or something like that, and then a 60 second off delay. So this relay wasn't energizing. It wasn't allowing power to pass from here to here when I energize the fan at this point. So the new one does. So this one's going to going to die. So see you guys on the next one.